New state audit shows the Mount Healthy City School District faces a potential $90 million deficit by 2028. Yeah, Brittany Harry has been following the story today. She's live in Mount Healthy with what that audit revealed. Well, yeah, so Robin, Megan, there's actually a Board of Education meeting that's scheduled to start in about an hour now where we plan to hopefully talk to board members. We broke this story first on Fox 19 now this morning. We've been trying to get in contact with the Board of Education since, but uh, no luck so far. But this one has a lot of people concerned about, you know, the future of this district and what this could mean for the district. But this all comes as the district was actually placed in a state of fiscal emergency last month. I want to say that it's actually in some cases worse than we had thought over the last few months. Mount Healthy City Schools hired dozens of new teachers and staff members and completed about $18 million in building projects without formal plans or ongoing funding to sustain its operations. That's according to a recent review by the state auditor's office. The auditor of state's Ohio performance team launched the audit last December due to, quote, the district's deteriorating financial condition. The Mount Healthy City Schools Board of Education is made up of these five members. Most of them have spent several years on the board. The Mount Healthy Teachers Association says they are devastated but not surprised by the findings. You know, we've cut so many teachers for next year and there's so many more resigning because of the, the financial insecurity. They don't know, you know, where they're going to be next year, that you don't know what classroom you're going to be in, you, the, the financial stability of the district, could they be the next one's rift? So they're, they're taking positions other places now. One example, according to the state auditor's office, the Mount Healthy School Board borrowed $10.5 million to construct a new early learning center, though existing building space was sufficient to serve students. Additionally, the report shows the district okayed $7.4 million in federal pandemic assistance funds for a new culinary arts center with no identified ongoing funding to pay for staffing supplies and other costs to operate the facility. You know, all the teachers in this building, all the, the support staff in this building, you know, we're, we're here for the students. And that's really, you know, that's really what drives us to show up every day. And that's what's driving us to make sure that the changes that are made are positive for our kids moving forward. So Auditor of State Keith Faber said to Fox 19, quote, there appears to be a failure of leadership given the mismanagement of public resources and the financial mess the district now finds itself in. He went on to say, quote, Mount Healthy School children and their families are not being well served. It may be time for the Mount Healthy City School District to consider partnering with other school districts to fulfill its educational obligations to the community. So again, that board meeting is supposed to start here at six o'clock and we will be there. So we'll have more for you coming out tonight on Fox 19 now at 10. If you would like to read the entire audit in its entirety, it's on our website right now, fox19now.com. For now, I'm reporting live in Mount Healthy, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 now.